first thing, please, everyone just have a look at this photo. Just think to yourself about, about what may be wrong with it. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to assume that if you're like me, the first thing you notice is this poor gentleman's missing a tooth, right? Right up front. Interrupts his smile. And then if you, if you stare at it for just a few moments longer, my goodness, his whole left eyebrow is not there, right? This is one of my favorite images from, from social media over the last five years. We've made our own version of it. But in each, in each version you see, it tells us this really meaningful story and, and drives the point home that we notice smiles like subconsciously before we even realize what else is going on. There's various versions of this and I encourage you to find them, but having a smile that isn't complete or missing teeth that are obvious has a huge impact on our quality of life. It's really massive. It's actually hard to quantify. The Journal of Psychology and Aging in 2018 put out a study that they just found that, you know, on average, most Americans have about 12 really significant social interactions a day. For some of us, you know, that, that number may be much bigger. Mm -hmm. But it's day after day, you know, year after year through a whole lifetime. And what goes on in those social interactions, so much of it is the things that are not said, right? We, we can't help it. We're, we're this social animal and life is this, this social experience. And we make perceptions about each other in our subconscious before we even get to know one another. And so I came out here trying to smile and, you know, Marissa, she can tell you I'm an oral surgeon and some of those things might mean something and they, that might buy some authority with you. Maybe you trust me a little bit just because of those, those credentials, right? You don't even know me. But if I were to come out here with a tooth missing or a couple of teeth missing, I'm certain the reception would have been a little different, right? It would have been, perhaps you might've questioned my intelligence. God, can, can I trust that person? Right? Might, might question my motives. Maybe just feel bad for me, right? There's, there's all sorts of things that, that would come to mind. But my, my point is it would substantially affect my ability to have success with you, right? Whereas not having any missing teeth helps, helps in my success. And it's not just the social aspect. So there's mental health, there's social health that's involved with someone having a confident smile. But there's also just our general health as well. There's a fascinating study called the Leisure World Cohort Study they did in Laguna Hills, California. Leisure World is a retirement community. Sounds great, right? Leisure World, they followed 5,500 elderly individuals for nearly 18 years. And they learned so many interesting things. But in the, the dental part of it, they learned that those that were missing all their teeth had a 30% increased risk of early death compared to those that didn't. And for men that were missing all their teeth, there was a 90% increased risk of developing dementia compared to those who, who had all their teeth. So extremely profound effect on, on our health uh, generally as well. Meet Randy. Randy's a wonderful individual. Randy has no teeth. And just like the previous photo, some assumptions start to get made, right, in your mind. And you might, you may or you may not, you know, think certain things about him that may or may not be true, all based on just seeing him for the first time. But Randy's actually a U.S. veteran. He's served our country. He's a wonderful person. And before meeting Nuvia and our team there, Randy had not left his home in two years. Two years. It almost wouldn't have been possible if it weren't for modern technology and our ability to order everything and have it delivered to us. Two years. The shame was so overwhelming, the discomfort so overwhelming, that he felt trapped, right, in his own home. And lest you would think, yeah, that's, maybe that's a small problem, right? Maybe this is an extreme example. There can't be that many people out there like this. The American College of Prosthodontists estimates 36 million Americans alone, just in our country, 36 million Americans are missing all their teeth. It's like one in 10 people. 
is a massive, massive problem, right? But fortunately for people like Randy, the dental world for decades now has actually been hard at work innovating solutions to solve these problems. One of which is the dental implant. So in the 1950s and 60s, a renowned orthopedic surgeon uh, from Sweden, Dr. Brandemark, he discovered that titanium fuses to bone really well. And from that, we get the, the invention of the dental implant, which is really nothing more than a titanium screw that gets placed into the jawbone and becomes an anchor. And you can attach something to that, such as a tooth in this case. Unfortunately, it didn't stop there. By the time we get to the 1990s, further innovation is done. And Dr. Malo in Portugal begins experimenting and, and trying to solve the problem of the full mouth. Because even in the 1990s, there were millions of people worldwide, right, suffering from not having any teeth whatsoever. Through the 90s and early 2000s, Dr. Malo and his team developed what has now become known as the all-in-four treatment concept. And what they learned was you don't need to just place one implant for every tooth to help someone. You don't have to do multiple procedures even to help someone. What they learned was in one procedure, they could place four implants strategically throughout someone's jaw. And to those implants, we could really immediately attach teeth. We could get something back in place for that person. It's groundbreaking, just, just a tremendous addition uh, to the dental innovation and the progress of, of dentistry and restoring people's smiles at the time. And the way it worked was prior to someone's surgery, we would prepare a denture, right? Traditional denture, pink and white, acrylic, like plastic, if you don't know what acrylic is, like a, like a fake nail, right? We'd make a denture for someone, and we'd have that ready to go, and then we'd bring them in and we'd, we'd do their implant surgery, and we'd place you know, dental implants around their arch. And then when we were done with the procedure, we would take that denture, we'd take like a dental hand piece, and we'd start to shape it, remove some stuff, get rid of the, the palate, drill some holes through it, add some metal components. The whole point was so that we could convert that denture into just a temporary set of teeth for this person and we would attach it right away. And they would live with that for four to six months or so, sometimes longer, depending on the, the needs of, of the case and, and an individual's needs. And then after that, they would start all the work over again of now let's make a permanent set of teeth, let's make final teeth. You know, teeth made of strong, normal, permanent materials like the ceramics, like zirconia, things like that that are used in dentistry modernly. And this, this all in four treatment concept has been revolutionary. It's been wonderful. I have so many patients, you know, from the past that we've done this with. We have a lot of experience in this and we love it. We think it's, it's revolutionary. The one thing it lacks is this period of time that we require someone to wear this temporary and the experience that they go through with that. It sounds great, but what really happens, and this is probably 20 to 70% of the time, what happens during that four to six months is because this is made of acrylic and, not, and it's not a very strong material, these things break. They actually crack, teeth pop off. They break regularly. For some people, I mean, out of my own experience, no matter how good of a job we did making it, some people, that prosthetic, that temporary just kept breaking. And it was almost like every Friday we had a standing appointment at 5 p.m. when everyone wanted to go home for the day and there was a wedding tomorrow and, and my teeth would break, right? So it was just this miserable, miserable experience and really kind of a letdown when you're trying to help someone step out of, you know, being reclusive right, in their own life, not even, not even wanting to show up in their own life and trying to give them this stepping stone to rejoining the world and then to have to go through this, this turbulent experience. And so when Nubia formed with a group of amazing individuals and clinical team, we really sat down and asked the question, how can we, how can we get rid of this experience? Do we have to have this experience where we know it's gonna break, what can we do, right? What, what can be done, what's possible? Even though that was 
and in large part still very much is a, the status quo, right? It's how it's done. This is how you do this. And so we sat down and fortunately, the timing was right as well. In the, early, in the 1990s and early 2000s, we didn't have as much technology available to us that we do today. We have computer-aided design software now, CAD. We have computer-aided manufacturing, right? CAM, that's, that's what CAD CAM is, if, if you weren't aware. And we now have the ability to plan out someone's entire prosthetic plan before we even do a procedure. I mean, we can precisely plan exactly what we hope to have happen. And then we can make it with a high degree of precision and we can make it out of much stronger materials than acrylic. And so the ensuing result of all that work, which really represented many years of, of combined uh, clinical experience, patient treatment experience, millions of dollars in, in investment, Nuvia has finally been able to make a clinical workflow that allows us to do a dental implant procedure and give someone a permanent set of teeth the next day within 24 hours. Essentially taking that whole experience of having to wear temporary teeth and all that comes along with it and just remove it, just pull it out of the equation and not even need it. And it's been tremendous. And Randy was one of the uh, you know, beneficiaries of that, of that treatment. And we love to show the after because the contrast, right? And Randy's just one of, of thousands of people that have you know, been able to experience this. And I can tell you that he's happier. I can tell you that he feels healthier. I can tell you that he's much more engaged in his social life. And, and he's a great example of, of what really can be. And so that's our innovation. Our innovation. Nuvia is a wonderful organization. We support a growing number of dental implant clinics across this country um, with a shared mission of making this available to everyone. And you gotta remember there's millions, right? I mean, it's staggering the number of people that, that need something like this. And if you try to take that number and you think, yeah, what, are all the, what are all the amazing things that these people are not doing or will never do because their life will come and go and they're trapped by how they feel, right? They're maybe trapped in their home or they're trapped in, in, in their daily routine and they have some amazing gift or idea to give to the world and they never give it because of something like this. I really think the world would be incredibly uh, changed if more and more people were able to you know, engage and, and not, be, not be afraid of, of their own smile, right? Or the lack thereof. And so that's... That's really our mission is to continue to grow, make this available to everyone. Uh, and I thank you for letting me share that with you.